During the 1930s, American advertisement changed to be mostly on the radio, and companies started to focus more on America's wants and needs. Because it was becoming expensive to advertise in newspapers, and most people could not afford to buy one every day, a lot of advertising businesses switched to radio advertisement. In the 1930s, the radio advertisement sales rose $12.9 million since 1921. By the end of the 1930s, radio stations had gained the rights to sell their airtime for companies to advertise, just like our radio and TV is today. Advertisers found that by campaigning their products based on what Americans wanted and needed in life, they could sell more. In the 1930s, most Americans were very poor and commercials would promise a better life. Here's an example of a Coca-Cola radio ad that ensures Coke will make things better. Get the feel of wholesome refreshment with an ice-cold bottle of Coca-Cola, and you'll really feel better. Coca-Cola is the favorite beverage in countless homes. Young and old, rich and poor, all enjoy its delicious taste. Coca-Cola is pure, wholesome refreshment. First, asks nothing more. Although many businesses were hurt in the 1930s, advertisement businesses adapted to America's situation and prospered during the Great Depression.